Number six is what are connecting factors in private international law? So connecting factors in private international law have twelve connecting factors and check this out. So what are connecting factor in private international law? Number one is X4. X4 is where the forum that parties want to apply the lawsuit. Number two is Lex Cause. The Lex Cause is the material law that the parties can use or choice of law. Number three is Lex Patriae. Lex Patriae is law of the nationalities. Number four. The number four is Lex Domicile. domicile. What is the Lex Domicile? The Lex Domicile is law of where the law apply. The number five is Lex Cides. What is Lex Cides? Lex Cides is law of where the property stay. Number six, Lex Loci celebration. The Lex Loci celebration is the law of where the marriage conduce conducted. Sorry. Number seven is Lex Loci contractors. Lex Loci contractors is the law of the place where the contract is entered. Number eight is Lex Loci Demni. The Lex Loci Demni is the law of the place where the accident occur. Number nine is Lex Loci Solutionis. What is the Lex Loci Solutionis? Lex Loci Solutionis is the law where the contract is complete. Number ten is Lex Loci Access. What is Lex Loci Access? Lex Loci Access is the law of doing the obligation of the contract. On number eleven is Lex Loci Delicti Committee. What is the Lex Loci Delicti Committee? Lex Loci Delicti Committee is the law where there is a mistake or in the contract or breach of contract and last is Lex Loci Arbitrary what is Lex Loci Arbitrary? the Lex Loci Arbitrary is a law of the place where arbitration is to take place ok so now I have a case study to solve and let's see solve this case study together. So the example case connecting feature in private international law. A woman named Mrs. Primili who has a Indonesian nationality and live in Japan and after that she moved in Japan She's met a man named Mr. Nanon Karapat and who has Japanese nationality, Japanese nationality and live in Japan and after they are met and after they are met they, Mr. Premier Lee gets married with Mr. Nanon Karapat in Japan and after that, they are moved to Jakarta and bought a house in Jakarta. But uh, several months, Mr. Primili thinks she doesn't sit well with her husband Nanon. So, so she made a decision to get divorce and apply the lawsuits into the, the Japanese court and after using the incidental question and found the strangest link the material law 
it is going to be used is Japanese law based on where they got married and this is primarily one to case. So the connecting factor in perfect international law, lex patria in Indonesian law, lex domicili in Japanese law, lex rossi celebrationis in Japanese law, lex sides in Indonesian law, lex flori in Japanese law, and lex causa in Japanese law. And the last one is number seven. What are the terms in private international law? Okay, the terms in private international law have five. Number one is Renvoi. Renvoi is a subset of the choice of law rules and it is potentially to be applied whenever a forum court is directed to consider the law of another state. Number two is the number two is forum non convenies. What is the forum non convenies? Forum non convenies is the legal doctrine used by common law courts to determine issues of jurisdiction, particularly with regard to foreign judgment and foreign court proceeding. Number three is forum shopping. What is forum shopping? Forum shopping is the informal name give to the part practice ad- adapted by some plaintiffs to get their legal case heard in the court talk must likely to provide a favorable judgment or by some dividends who seek to have the case move to a different court. Number four is list ali- alibi pendants. So list alibi pendants is the judicial process on the same subject matters with the same parties is taking place in foreign court in the uh, third country. And number five is Abrogate is the purchase and sell of an asset in order to profit from a difference in the assets price between markets and it is, it is a trade uh, profits by exploiting the price difference of incident identical or similar financial instrument in different markets on in different forms so that all from me thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe my youtube channel and have a great day everyone Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Goodbye everyone